WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for the TFNN Mid-Afternoon Update. Well, you can say one thing for sure. Crude oil is still bullish because it's the only thing uh, that's bullish on the board today. I haven't checked heating oil or gasoline, but I think the gasoline has started to move higher, too. But I have to double-check that. We're having a sell-off in stocks, not unexpected, but it's not the end of the world, believe me, folks. And not only that, you can't see it from the end of town, so don't worry about this. Maybe later you could worry, but not right now. This is a normal correction that we've been waiting to see, and it's not a big deal. We'll talk about that when we get up to the the, uh, the full section of trade, what you see, which comes on next. Yes, I posted the chart of the uh, British pound. And the reason why is, folks, we've got a major thing. Plus, we had the fact that the, uh, the Bank of England did not drop it, raise interest rates like they should have. And I'll go through what happened here. But we've made a major bottom here in both crude oil and in the British pound here today. Whether they move up much or not, I don't know. But it's a major bottom. That's just looking at it from the cheap seats here in Tucson, Arizona. Now, when we come back. Tomorrow, I'll be on the whole show today, but tomorrow our guest will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights, always a great guest, and he'll be uh, tomorrow at uh, 1.30. When we get back from the break here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off and look at a couple currencies, look at where we are in the stock market, where we are in the bond market, and where we might be going. That's what we'd like to be looking at, okay? That's, that's all I can do when I do these patterns. I know how to do one thing, folks. I know how to draw a line between the high and the low. That's called a bar chart. And I can look at that, and if I get a series of those bar charts, that gives me a pattern. And that's what I work with, okay? And I, you know, I, I do it real simple. It's not hard to do. The problem is to get to be the simple part, you got to lay the basics. And most people are just flat out too lazy or too disinterested to want to understand the basics of something as simplicity as drawing a line. But simplicity beats complexity by spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs, as we say in Texas, hold them. Well, in gambling, in poker, you have an advantage, the same thing you have in trading. So we'll be right back, folks. 